Hello and welcome back and today I want to continue talking about Plex. Today I want to tell you about one, how to set up a Plex media server on your WD NAS and two, how to add media to your server collection. So first and foremost, you need to log in to your WD cloud. Now straight away it should be said that your MyCloud my NAS system is incredibly user friendly and I'm going to assume that you've already done the initial setup and made your way to the desktop interface. Otherwise if you don't know do check out my video on first time WD NAS setup. But once you've got onto the user interface here, you need to make your way over to the apps section. Do make sure you've created a shared area and you've prepared your storage, the hard drives inside. Once again, these are things that would have happened during the initial setup, setup of your NAS. So in the app center here, you scroll down and find the Plex media server application. Once done, click install, and it will now install the Plex Media Server application on your WD MyCloud. Um, again, one of the things I've never been hugely keen on with WD NAS is of course that once you install apps, it kind of stops you using the backend user interface, something that a number of other NAS brands don't really do. So it's kind of annoying that WD do that, and it also that the installation takes a pinch longer than a number of the contemporaries. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fast forward things straight on to when the installation of this app is complete. Okay, so, so you can see from the message on the screen, the Plex Media Server application has been installed. So let's go ahead and check on that installation. So it would have added Plex Media Server to one of the available apps on the left hand side. And from here, we can just simply click Plex Media Server to open up the app. Now we are gonna to need to configure the application for the first time. So here's what we'll do. We're going to configure and it should open a brand new tab for us. Here we are gonna be required to sign in to our Plex Media Server because you will need an account with Plex, which is an online platform, in order to pair that with your NAS. And I'm gonna use the same account that we've been using for a number of these NASs previously. And again, so don't be surprised if it does display several apps while doing it. Um, I don't know what that suggested password is, but take my word for it, guys. That isn't the password. Now, again, I use an account that I've created previously, but if you're brand new to Plex, you will need to create a brand new account, which will only take you a couple of minutes, which once you've entered that login information, you'll be presented with this screen. A quick overview of how Plex works. But one of the biggest problems a number of you have with regards to adding media to your libraries on the Plex is understanding that one, you will need to have an internet connection at the beginning, at least during the initial setup and pairing up of these accounts, and two, you will have to make sure that the machine you're working on is on the same network environment, so sharing the same internet connection if you're gonna be really caveman during the installation. That is why at the top here, instead of www, we've got our IP, that is the network environment. So we'll click got it. And the next thing it's gonna do is offer you a Plex Pass. Now, I'm not gonna be one to tell you what to do, but what I will say is a Plex Pass does give you so, so many applications that will be largely available to you and help you with making the most of your multimedia as well as um, recording um, television and uh, cloud synchronization. Um, taking care of all kinds of background metadata and effectively giving you podcasts and streaming services and a lot more online information that you don't get with a non-Plex pass. I do bear that in mind. And again, it's only three, four necker a month, so it's not too terrible. But for now, we're just gonna skip that and continue with the installation. Here, we can see the name of the NAS, and you can rename the NAS if you want. But for now, because I've got so many NASs linked to this account, I'm just gonna leave the name of this NAS on there. And this is the option that lets you access your Plex media server outside the home. Now, you can disable that and enable it later, but for now, I'm gonna leave that enabled. And I'm gonna click Next and move forward into the section where we start adding media to our Plex media server. And now we're on to the next step, the step where we have to start adding TV, movies, music, pictures, and more. So the next thing you have to do is go to add library. And from here, you first have to select the kind of media you're going to be utilizing. So for the sake of keeping things straightforward, let's click on films. The next um, area is we have to choose which folders we're gonna be pulling from. And here is the reason we had to remain on the same network as our NAS, because we're gonna browse the media folders based on our NAS and then find that media that we've got stored on the NAS so Plex can find it. Uh, this is the media that we've been using for a number of different NASs. 
um, in our Plex Media Server Test and DLNA Media Test. So for now, let's go into the movie section and add those same movies we've been using previously. We'll go from there and that adds this library. So now the film library is taken care of. And next, we're going to go for TV shows. Now do remember, if you've got multiple directories with different batches of movies, perhaps you've, you know, subsections them into genres, you can add multiple scanning folders into different um, libraries. So do remember that. So for now, uh, we're going on to TV shows. And again, I'm going to do exactly the same thing and enable the TV show tab. And once again, you can enable multiple folders within one library. So we've done those and maybe we'll add music for good measure. And again, if you are using things like Amazon Fire Sticks, Amazon Alexa, um, Sonos, both sound systems and any other DLNA media device, this will help these things get picked up on your network. Once again, share one, two, three, music, done. And again, your folder structure may be different to mine, so do bear that in mind. Just keep note of on the uh, MyCloud uh, NAS, using the file manager, known as the web file manager, and that file manager will tell you the directories of all of your files. So just keep that tab open. So that means you can keep an eye on the folders and files as and when you need them. And that's my structure and that's where they're all based. So carrying on with Plex, we've got that done. This is where you can again get some of the other Plex Pass Premium features for stuff like um, suggestions, playlists, Spotify lists, that sort of thing. Or you can keep with the basic settings for now. From here, you can import iTunes servers, have a more bespoke and rigorous metadata scan, uh, scanning, and that's where you get all your photos and your information from, from your libraries, and you can enable all that there. Once you've done those libraries, move to the next step, and you can see at the bottom, it's already started adding our media. Next, you can choose to install Plex apps. Now, some of these are gonna be functionality applications. Some of them are gonna be for streaming services, but do bear in mind that a number of apps do require you to have a Plex pass. We'll talk about that in another video. Click done. And there you have it. We're building our Plex Media Server Library on our NAS, our WD MyCloud NAS. And once again, as you can see, that is the address on the network of our WD NAS. And that is the address of our Plex Media Server, exactly the same. And there is our Plex Media Server NAS being set up with metadata being scanned. <clears throat> if we look at any of these results, we can go into, for example, a movie here. And from here, it will not only tell us the cast list, it will give us all the images, stuff that we didn't already have, as well as fill in the metadata from the likes of IMDB and more, as well as make suggestions based on your library, and you can use external libraries for reviews and ratings. But that's about it. That has been the Plex Media Server set up on the WD MyCloud NAS series. If you want to watch a movie, click play or use one of the myriad of applications for iOS, Android, consoles, smart TVs, and more to enjoy your libraries. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this or found it helpful, do click like and subscribe because we don't use PayPals or Patreons here, and it's always good to support this channel with your feedback. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.